hey how you guys doing today it's your boy wrecked here and today i am going to make a video on how do you go from this box shape right here webcam overlay to the circle now some people prefer this um mainly seen on facebook a lot of facebook people streaming or making videos they got the circle overlay versus the traditional rectangle or square box and i'm going to show you guys how to do that today um, there's probably videos out on it already, but you know, some people still ask me to this day. So, you know, some people refuse to see other people's videos versus, you know, some other people. It's just everybody that makes videos have their own audience. And, you know, audience can be stubborn sometimes. And they only want to know how to do it from their specific streamer or person they follow or a fan of. So, I'm going to make you guys a video for it. Simple, um, real easy. So, let's get into it. So first of all, you got your webcam up via the OBS here. Now let's get this. Let me get the thing rolling here so it can see my. I need to do a display capture real quick. So you open up Streamlabs. You go into here. Don't follow this instructions. This is just to capture my window so you guys can see everything that's going on right now. Okay, so Sean OBS. All right, get that bad boy here. All right, display capture, I think. Oh, there we go, window capture. And I'm going to show you guys a lot of other stuff too. Like, I got so many tutorials to come up with that it will have you guys like, yo, this man is goaded. So my window capture is now popping up. What the heck is that about? There it is. All right, cool. Let's transform. Fit to screen. Alrighty. Now we have this here, right? Alright, so to make your the box here from square to circle is simple. You go to your webcam, right? This is my webcam here. Obviously, you can rename it. This one for some reason didn't name it. So this is the webcam. Right? Boom. So what you want to do is you want to right-click on webcam. You want to come down to filters. Once you have filters, you have a little plus and minus sign here, right? You want to hit the plus sign, you go to image mask blend. And this is for stream labs. There's other videos out there how to do it on OBS, but this is strictly for people who love using stream labs. I like using stream labs. A lot of people complain, oh, it takes up more memory, more space, you know, it's a lot of more on your CPU. If your game, if your PC is built right, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about anything like that. You still have wonderful streams, wonderful gameplay using it or not. So, image mask blend, right? You click on that there. It's going to give you this box right here. So, this box, is it picking this up? No, it's not picking this up. Okay, let's see. It's not picking that up. I wonder why. Window capture, capture method should be on automatic. Hmm. Should be on this. Let me see if display capture is going to work a little better. All right, there we go. We'll use display capture instead. Window capture normally works as well, but it's whatever. Remove, boom, there we go. All right, there you go. Fit to screen. I apologize for that. All right, cool. Now we have it on display capture. So let's rewind. Rewind. So now <laughs> you go to webcam here. You right click on that. And then you go to filters, right? When you're in filters, like I said, let me move this, remove this. See, you got a plus and minus sign. I know y'all probably was like, what the hell is he talking about? The plus and minus sign, you hit the plus button here. You go to image mask blend, click done. And then it's going to say path here. Now you can leave type on alpha mask. Path is, this is the most important part here, right? It's path. So with path, you go to browser. And what you want to do is you want to have a transparent circle, right? And how do you get that transparent circle? You come over to the internet, you look up on the internet, a transparent circle, right? That's pretty simple. 
you find your good transparent circle such as this one you know what you want to do is right click save image now here's the important part in order to know if it's a transparent down at the the, top, the bottom here it's going to say save as type it's going to say png image right that's how you know it's transparent you're going to save that bad boy it should be saved as transparent on your computer so now you go back to sources and then you could pick any one the one i just downloaded you could pick that one too that one i don't know why that one is not working that's weird but i did find this circle earlier in the video so here we go boom you click done and as you can see it changed it out right there and this is a transparent circle this one has this one is a little different of a circle this one has these little edges here which you can remove from cropping but remember when you're in the internet sometimes you can find the perfect transparent circle. Sometimes you got to go browsing through all these circles. Hopefully you find the right one. But that's how you do it. And as you can see when I click done. There it is. It is circle and no longer rectangle or square. And then you can do the same thing. If you want to revert back to square. You go back into filters on your webcam. Go to image mass blend. And what you want to do is, is just remove it with the minus button and it's back to the way it was. So that's pretty much how you do it, guys. It's pretty simple. A uh, little neat trick there in case you want to be different. You want to have a circle. I'm not sure if this works with other shapes. Uh, if it does, comment down below. Show how. Um, give me a little advice. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. And I do apologize for the beginning of the video. You know, I should have been a little bit more organized than that. I'll take the blame for that. But um, that is how y'all do it. I'm glad we fixed that up. And for someone who knows Streamlabs that well, that definitely was an epic fail. And I'm not going to redo this video to make it look perfect because I do show that I do make mistakes myself. And it is what it is. But we got down to the point, the actual factuals, and you now know how to do it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, thumbs down. If you did, thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Even if I made a mistake, you know, you still can hit a thumbs up. You know, it helps out. Uh, appreciate it. Um, and your boy's out. Peace. Ah.